Hi everyone, this is Scott Eklund with My Tech Made Simple, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your new iPad. I'm going to be using the new iPad, also known as the iPad 3, but you can follow along even if you have an iPad 2. The first step after you get your iPad out of the packaging is to hold the power button found in the top right corner for a few seconds. I already have my iPad turned on, so I'm going to tap the home button instead. The first step is to choose your language, then tap the arrow in the top right corner. Now choose your country. The default is already correct for me, so I'm going to tap the next button in the top right. Tap to enable location services. This allows the iPad and apps you choose to use your location to give you a better experience. The next step is to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This is the internet connection that you use at home, and my Wi-Fi network is NTMS, so I'm going to tap on that, then enter my password. Once I am finished, I will just tap on the join button in the top right. Since this is a new iPad, we're going to tap on Setup as New iPad. If you've ever created an Apple ID for use on your iPhone or iTunes account, then tap Sign In with an Apple ID and enter your information there. If you don't have an Apple ID, then tap Create a New Apple ID. We're going to assume that you don't have an Apple ID, so we'll go through the whole process to create one. Go ahead and enter your birthday here. I'm going to use a random date. Now go ahead and enter your first and last name. I prefer to just have one email address so if you want to keep your email address separate, or if you don't have an email address, tap on Create a Free Email Address. Otherwise, tap on Use Your Current Email Address. Now, enter your primary email account and the password that you want to use for your Apple ID. Now, answer one of these security questions. They are used to verify your identity if you forget your password and you need to get it reset. Apple will send you updates from time to time. I like to receive them, but the choice is up to you. These are Apple's terms and conditions for using their products and services. If you want to use your iPad, you will have to agree to them. It will now take a while for Apple to create your new Apple ID. Now that your Apple ID is created, let's set up iCloud iCloud allows your photos, apps, contacts, and more to stay in sync across your iPad and any other Apple devices you own. Here Apple will automatically back up your iPad's data. It's safer to back up to iCloud, but you can back up to your computer as well. The Find My iPad service helps you find your iPad if you misplace it. I recommend enabling the service. You have the option of setting up your personal email here so you can view it on your iPad. If you'd like to do this, just type in your email address and password, but you're not required to. Dictation translates what you say to your iPad into text. Go ahead and tap Use Dictation, then tap Next. Here you have the choice to enable or disable diagnostics. I prefer not to enable diagnostics, but the choice is up to you. Finally, tap Next to finish the registration of your iPad. For this demonstration, I'm not going to register with Apple, but you should. And finally, tap on Start using iPad. You're now ready to start using your new iPad. You can watch part two of setting up your new iPad to see how you can download and install the latest apps and games. Thank you for watching our iPad setup video. You can find more of the latest tech news and how-to guides at mytechmadesimple.com.